Bitcoin, we start with one of our charges of an a quick update. First of all, if we refer to my last analysis, since the price was within this move, we mentioned we're looking for continue correction. Then we mentioned if you get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. This is what we get. And as we can see, the price broke the previous top. But what we have been looking for, we have been looking for 49,300. Then we mentioned if there is a breakout of 49,300, the next level I'm looking for is whether the price can break 49,800 or not. And since the price was within this move, we have been looking for buy from here. And in my last analysis, I mentioned for those traders, they keep the trade, they can move their sub loss to 46,500. And right now, if the traders are still, they keep the trade, either they move their sub loss below this, which is somewhere around 46. 700 or they put their stable somewhere around 47 but i suggest is 46 700 or they keep their sub loss as 46 500 because if there is a continuation if the price tag 49 300 this is where they remove their sub loss somewhere around this top which is somewhere around 48 500 the reason is we want to book this profit okay because if we need to book this profit in case there is a reversal since we have a divergence, as, uh, at least they can protect the trade. Anyway, it depends on the traders. And if I move to daily chart, you want to see what's the next. And it's still we're looking for continuation. That's why we need to see the breakout of this zone, which is 49,300 and 49,800. Because we mentioned if there is a breakout of this zone, then we can expect this is a start of the up move. Because it's still we need to be quite careful. It can... I mean, this correction can be part of this one for one more drop. We are not expecting or we are not looking for the price to drop. That's mean we are not looking for the set. We're looking for continuation, but still we need to be quite careful. And uh, because if we refer to lower time frame, we see the divergence, all right? And for me still, since we had this correction, it was a good trade to look for. And we need to see the breakout of this one. That's why at least we want to price break 49,300. Because if we put this top, relative to the previous one based on forward chart if we refer to the indicators we see we have a divergence and here that's why we need to be quite careful the divergence it doesn't mean the price can drop all right either the price can reverse or the correction but at this stage we're looking for continuation all right but still we need to be quite careful that's why i mentioned since the price was within here i mentioned i want to see the breakout of this one this is the resistance we're looking for and if i move to one hour chart we have the similar uh, I mean, we, we have the similar what we explained based on a forward chart because if you put this top in relative to the previous one, still we can see we have a divergence. If you put this top in relative to the previous one in the bigger picture, okay? That's why. But what I'm expecting is still I'm expecting for continuation. The only thing is, as I mentioned, we're looking for a breakout of this one. And since we have this move following by this flag, still we can look for buy. But any buy from here is a short because if you want to look for buy from here, the stop loss should be somewhere within this one. Now, we need to consider in terms of the risk and reward, whether we want to get this trade or not. That's why if we want to get any trade from here, what we want, we want to continue a sharp move similar to what we get here. And as long as we get into the profit, we move our stop loss to break even. And as I explained, I want to see the breakout of this zone. All right, because that's why we since the price was for them here, we mentioned if we get any trade setup, we're looking for 49,300 by following by 49,800. Anyway, uh, there is no more changes. The only thing is we get this move if we refer to my last analysis. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.